The Ethereum ecosystem has been exploding. Now you probably noticed that if you're an ETH holder and you've seen your assets grow in value as the price of ETH has been skyrocketing over the last few weeks. But you've probably also been noticing it if you're an avid DeFi app user, NFT collector and so on, as you've been having to suffer incredibly high gas prices over the last few weeks. There have been gas wars, especially on the NFT front with every new uh, minted project creating massively high gas fees in the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And this is terrible as it prices out many people out of DeFi apps and out of the NFT space. And then there has to be a solution for that. And that is what I will be talking to you about in this video. And that is a newly introduced layer two scaling solution for Ethereum called Arbitrum. I'm super excited about this because it's no secret that scaling is something that is direly needed for the Ethereum ecosystem. And I will be sharing with you how you can actually bridge your ETH from the Ethereum mainnet onto the Arbitrum layer two. Uh, what kind of DeFi apps are available at the moment as well as a few ones that I think are pretty cool and I highly recommend that you watch until the end of the video because the last one, the last DeFi app of this list that is running on Arbitrum does not have a governance token yet. So this is incredibly exciting. You're watching the Decentralized Lifestyle. I'm currently traveling through Norway, super beautiful scenery, uh, refreshing air and i'm glad to be able to live this thanks to the passive income and the crypto space now <laughs> this morning i've been working on a really exciting crypto exit strategy that will be part of the defire academy the defire academy is a really exciting membership site that wealth in progress and me will be launching on the 9th of september and so if you're interested in all of that, I do highly recommend that you sign up to the Decentralized Lifestyle Newsletter. The link is down in the description below. As when we launch on the 9th of September, there will only be a limited amount of super early bird spots, I think around 20, and those are probably going to go away really fast. And after that, there will be other spots available, but they will be at a higher price. So do sign up. Link is down in the description below. With that out of the way, let's talk about Arbitrum. Really excited about this layer two scaling solution. Go to portal.arbitrum1 and you can see all of the DeFi apps. And there are many that are available on this layer two scaling solution. You can see the ones that will be coming soon and the ones that are live right now. And this is pretty cool because the ones that are live are those that you can actually start using today and benefit from the financial services that they provide. So you've got Alchemy, you've got Anchor, which is a staking um, provider. You've got um, Balancer, which is a very popular um, liquidity provider. And you've got Chainlink and Data Oracle. So yeah, there's quite a few and I'm really excited about the massive amount of DeFi apps that are launching on um arbitrum which is very exciting now in order to get started if you haven't already i do recommend that you install metamask metamask is my wallet of choice to interact in the DeFi space so if you haven't already installed this make sure to go to metamask.io make sure it's the correct website download it install it and when you've got it installed you'll have to send some eth from either binance coinbase kraken wherever to the address in your metamask wallet so here you've got your address you can just click on that copy and then paste it into binance or coinbase kraken and send some eth to your account so i've got 1.5 eth on this account now here you've got a little drop down this will allow you to switch between the different um, networks so now we're on the ethereum mainnet this will allow you to interact with DeFi apps on the ethereum mainnet you probably don't have the arbitrum one yet so that's what we'll actually add to metamask in just a bit so for that you just go to chainlist.org and here you've got many different um, chains that you can add to metamask and what you just want to do here is type in arbitrum 
and then you select Arbitrum one, click on connect wallet and click on add to MetaMask and it will add to MetaMask and it will ask if you want to switch the network. You can switch if you want, it doesn't really matter. You will have to do that later on. Then the next thing you want to do as soon as you got some ETH on your MetaMask wallet, you will want to go to bridge.arbitrum.io. Here you want to make sure that you're on the Ethereum mainnet. Here you can type in how much ETH you'd like to bridge from the Ethereum mainnet onto Arbitrum. As soon as you've done it, you click on deposit. The fee is probably going to be somewhere around um, $30, $40. Unfortunately, bridging from Ethereum to any layer two is still going to be quite expensive and will unfortunately price people out at the moment. But Arbitrum is still more or less in a beta phase. I'm pretty sure in the future it will be possible to send funds directly from Binance onto Arbitrum, from Coinbase onto Arbitrum. So it's only a matter of time. This is for people that really want to experience and explore the Arbitrum layer two as a pioneer of the space. So I've already done that. I won't confirm this transaction, but here it costs $46. So yeah, it, it, it does cost a pretty penny. So I'm going to reject this as I've already um, sent 0.5 ETH to the Arbitrum mainnet. And you can see the transaction down here below. With that other way, you can actually go on to three different apps that you can test. These ones are the ones that I've actually um, tried out. So the first one is the very popular Uniswap. So you just click on launch app. And then here, what you want to do is you click on your MetaMask wallet and then you click on the drop down and then you select Arbitrum 1. And that will actually tell Uniswap that you will be using Uniswap on Arbitrum. And you get this pop up Uniswap Arbitrum and also link to deposit if you haven't done that already. But then here it just works very similar to the normal unit swap on the Ethereum mainnet, you can swap with um, different assets. Now, there isn't liquidity for every asset, but there are a few like USDC that do have a, a, a liquidity pool available. The next DeFi app I'm pretty excited about running on Arbitrum is GMX.Financial. It's a decentralized perpetual exchange that allows you to trade BTC, ETH, and BNB with up to 30x leverage directly from your wallet. And the really cool thing is all of these DeFi apps, they do not require you to sign up or to do any kind of KYC. That's the beauty of DeFi. So you would just connect here with your wallet and then you would be able to start so you can launch on Binance Smart Chain, but we're not interested in that. You could just click here, launch on Arbitrum. And then it's really exciting, beautiful interface. And here you can actually go long or short um, with a different amount of leverage. Just keep in mind, leverage is extremely, extremely dangerous, um, but it's, 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 a, it's, it's, a, it's like going to the casino more or less. I personally don't really trade with anything more than 5x leverage, but I preferably stick to two or three X, but this is only for the advanced traders if you're interested in that. The next app in the list is a more easy to use interface for also going long on ETH or BTC uh, with USDC. So you, you can also go long on Euro USD pair and you can actually do up to 200x <laughs> leverage on this pair, which is just mind blowing. So you just click on the one that you'd like to go long on and you just click on it and then you can select how much leverage you'd like to um, do and you click on done and then you would provide um, the amounts that you'd like to use. The last app on the list is Swapper, which is pretty cool. It's more or less a clone of Uniswap. I do like this um, decentralized exchange. And the cool thing is that you see the governance part is grayed out. So it's possible that if you do some swaps on this decentralized exchange, you might get an airdrop in the future. So let's do a swap to show how Arbitrum works. Keep in mind at the moment, Arbitrum is not running at its highest scalability capabilities. That's why the fees are not as low as they could be, uh, but they're still way lower than performing swaps on Uniswap on the Ethereum mainnet. Let's do a test swap on Swapper 0.1 ETH will be swapped to uh, USDC. Perfect. I'll just click on swap, confirm swap. And the fee is 
0.002 AEF, that's Arbitrum EF. Click on confirm. The transaction was submitted and in a flash it was confirmed. So the speed is mind blowing. Let's have a look at it on the Block Explorer, how much it costed. Like I mentioned before, it's possible that the fee is not as low as we would expect it. I was expecting something around $1. So let's see how high the fee uh, was. So I paid $4.30. It's, it's okay. It's much better than on the Ethereum mainnet. Hopefully when Arbitrum scales to its full capabilities, the fees will be reduced by 10x of this. So maybe only costing 43 cents up to $1. So that's going to be exciting to see. Before I say my goodbyes to you guys, just keep in mind the spirit of an airdrop hunter is discovering new DeFi projects, trying them out, and maybe you get lucky in the future and you benefit from an airdrop. That's how I have been doing it and that's how I managed to get more than $50,000 in airdrops alone over the last year. So I do recommend trying out the Arbitrum Layer 2 mainnet trying out different DeFi platforms on it and maybe you get lucky and in the future you might benefit from an airdrop. With that said, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.